Welcome to the Douglas Wright Engineering Building, which houses six labs where undergraduate chemical engineering students work with state-of-the-art equipment to get hands-on lab experience. In these labs, we explore many questions such as, how do we make products sustainable? How do we modify processes so they are safer and more energy efficient? If we were to ask you to guess which discipline of engineering is well poised to advance sustainability, what would you say? You guessed right. Chemical engineers are involved in advancing all 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals. Today, we're going to show you how students learn about working toward achieving a few of these goals. Starting with goal number 13, climate action. Students get hands-on experience using this equipment that can be used to reduce carbon emissions and remove other pollutants from the air. This piece of equipment is used for carbon capture. It uses packed columns and liquid solvent to separate CO2 in the air into pure CO2 that can be reutilized or sent to an underground reservoir for storage. Students learn to purify the air using this monolithic catalytic reactor, which uses catalysts to remove pollution from the air before it is released into the environment. UN Sustainable Goal number seven, affordable clean energy. Chemical engineers develop new technologies to create renewable energy using sustainable materials supporting the creation of a circular economy, which focuses partly on eliminating waste by reusing materials. We'll see an example of this later. This lab houses the only pilot scale distillation column in Ontario. It can be set up to separate an ethanol water mixture from bio-fermentation broth to create renewable fuel. In this lab, we have the PEM, Proton Exchange Membrane, fuel cell unit. With this piece of equipment, students learn to design, test, and build bigger batteries that may power transport trucks, trains, and planes. This is the Chemical Engineering Foundation Laboratory. This lab also provides opportunities to work with a variety of green energy technologies, such as lead acid batteries, lithium ion batteries, and hydrogen-based fuel cells. This lab is the Bioprocessing and Biotechnology Lab, which houses these bioreactors. Students learn how to produce bioethanol from agricultural waste like corn and turn it into renewable energy. UN Sustainable Goal number six, clean water and sanitation. Chemical engineers are key players in wastewater treatment, desalinization, removal of chemical and biological pollutants, which ensures a clean drinking water supply. This lab houses liquid solid packed beds and fluidized beds widely used in wastewater treatment. The UV reactor represents one of the advanced technologies in wastewater treatment and reverse osmosis for brine water desalination. UN Sustainable Goal number three, good health and well-being. Chemical engineers develop biomedical devices, pharmaceutical products, and new biotechnologies. This is our new ion exchange chromatography system. The proteins in the fermentation yeast cells can be separated and purified using IEC for value-added protein products for pharmaceutical applications. Here is our example of an aspect of a circular economy. The yeast that is separated from the fermentation broth when making ethanol is used in this process. We're using the byproduct of one process, and instead of discarding it, we're using it to create a new product. Students also create hydrogel solutions in this lab. They use the freeze dryer unit to convert the hydrogel into a solid gel that can be used for biomedical applications such as controlled drug delivery or as tissue scaffold. UN Sustainable Goal number 12, responsible consumption and production. Plastics are prevalent throughout our society. Chemical engineers are making plastics from sustainable materials that are biodegradable. This is the injection molding machine, which is fully automatic in operation. Students use this equipment to test the strength of the plastic they created and use the properties to optimize the injection molding operation for efficiency and product quality. UN Sustainable Goal number nine, industry, innovation, and infrastructure. In many industrial settings, chemical engineers design controls and optimize the quality of the product to make the processes more energy efficient. Students experiment with flow, pressure, and temperature on this equipment. Today, we've given you a brief tour of some of the high-tech equipment available to our students. 
we get hands-on experience operating equipment for innovative solutions to renewable energy production. We learn to design and scale up reactors for solving real-world problems such as wastewater treatment and many other applications. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email Engineering Admissions, engginfo at uwaterloo.ca.